There's a line I oftentimes use is, you know, who are we, the drug policy reform movement? We're the people who hate drugs, we're the people who love drugs, we're the people who don't give a damn about drugs, but every one of us believe the war on drugs is not the way to deal with it. Welcome to the International Drug Policy Reform Conference 2017 here in Atlanta, Georgia. I have seen the suffering firsthand of what the drug war is doing, and I have not seen one iota of evidence that it is stopping people from using drugs. I really want to work on increasing the LGBTQ presence in the cannabis industry. People are getting arrested, put on Rikers Island, um, they're not being afforded legitimate bails. So we still have you know, black and brown people um, incarcerated at a way higher rate than white people. And the Ministry of Justice report that's just come out um, is showing that the UK incarcerates a higher percentage of their black population than the US does. Basically, it's become this big industry with the warehouse of people, um, the mentally ill. But right now, there's a already uh, public opinion support for ending the criminalization of people who use drugs and basically shifting drug policy to something like the approach that Portugal has, shifting drug policy out of the criminal justice system and into the health system, and that would have huge implications for psychedelics. That one of the things that's driving problematic drug use um, is people feeling sort of displaced and disconnected and not having strong social ties. And I'm interested in like things like ayahuasca and ibogaine and psilocybin and these are actually, uh, besides giving pretty intense spiritual experiences, they actually help the brain sort of reconnect. So maybe 60% of the people in jail, for example, now are there for drug-related cases. But that needs to be addressed because about half of those who are there for drug-related offenses are um, there for use and possession, non-violent. And if you will look at the demographics, most of them are from lower income families. Well, Massachusetts just legalized, but even though the state legalized um, uh, municipalities by municipality, legalization is determined by municipality. So we have to make sure that communities are working with the government so that the legislation and the regulation that passed um, are exactly what will something that will be beneficial for the community itself. Right now, we're making sure that the will of the voters that actually there's a follow through on behalf of our elected officials. Um, I know they did. They tried to, um, I guess, remove some of the um, equity parts of the bill. Um, and luckily, uh, a lot of organizers on the ground like put their heels down and were like, no, like this has to be part of the bill. We're trying to really address, um, you know, what the war on drugs really did to these communities.